Since the beginning of the Syrian civil war in 2011, Russia has played a very direct role in the conflict, supporting the legitimacy of President Bashar al-Assad's authoritarian state by providing him with the funds, artillery, and the political strength necessary to hold off several rebel and terrorist groups. Russia's involvement in the war is driven by a number of factors, primarily to strengthen their influence in the Middle East, a region with vast geopolitical implications given its natural resources, precarious location, and proximity to several international conflicts. This has placed Russia at odds with the U.S., whose recent intervention against Assad has further complicated the eventual pathway to peace in Syria. History of Russia and Syria The two countries have long been allies, with Russia using Syria to exert its influence in the Middle East. Between 1955 and 1960, the Soviet Union gave Syria more than $200 million in military aid. Some even believe that Russia helped facilitate the 1967 Arab-Israeli War, which pitted Syria and other Arab states against Israel, the U.S.'s greatest ally in the region. In 1971, Russia opened a naval base at the port of Tartus in western Syria, now their only access point to the Mediterranean. Additionally, many Russian companies in natural gas, nuclear energy, and other industries have vested interests in Syria. Syria is Russia's last ally in the Middle East, and they need them to succeed if they want to compete with the U.S. and other Western nations in terms of geopolitical power. This points to why Russia has made such an effort to keep Assad in power despite his questionable methods. Russian Involvement in the Conflict Russia has not attempted to disassociate itself from President Assad or his government, continuing to defend him in light of his lack of support internationally. Russia openly supplies the regime with training, firearms, and larger artillery, like the Soviet-era tanks and rocket launchers shown here, being used in Syria. Russian-Syrian arms deals have increased as the fighting has escalated, reaching almost $5 billion between 2007 and 2010. Additionally, Russia has launched airstrikes across the country, targeting rebel strongholds like the country's once largest city and economic hub, Aleppo. The city has been all but destroyed following its recapture in 2016. In 2013, Vladimir Putin wrote a letter published in the New York Times urging Western leaders to refrain from taking action against Assad. In it, he writes, We are not protecting the Syrian government, but international law. And... Preserving law and order in today's complex and turbulent world is one of the few ways to keep international relations from sliding into chaos. Ironically, Russia's use of force against the rebel groups allowed their other enemy, ISIS, to expand throughout northern Iraq and Syria. Recent Developments and Future of the Conflict In early 2017, the U.S. launched a bombing raid against an airbase in Syria, making the first direct attack on the regime. The bombings were in a response to Assad's use of chemical weapons against his own people, killing 85, including 20 children. Despite evidence of the attack, Russia claims that it was organized by rebels to garner support for their cause. Putin called the U.S. bombings, quote, aggression against a sovereign state in violation of international law, and, quote, a significant blow to Russian-American relations, which were already in a sorry state. Russia pulled out of an airspace safety agreement with the U.S., but is yet to take any military action in response. Putin acknowledged that peace in Syria is unattainable without cooperation from the U.S., and he has talked with President Trump recently about a ceasefire. However, with both sides unlikely to compromise, the conflict is far from over.